Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Xin Yi, and your presenter uh, to, for today. Um, I'm currently a second year master's student in the Department of Computer Science uh, at National Central Net, uh, University in Taiwan. And during my undergraduate years, I pursued a double major in data science and history. I'm really nervous to be here today for my first presentation at this kind of conference. So please bear with me if there are any mistakes along the way. So let's get started. Uh, have you ever wondered how computational method can unveil the social dynamic of political figure throughout history? Uh, today, I present our research team on modeling the evolving social dynamic of political figures using uh, historical records. So I will first introduce the motivation behind this research and will provide an overview of the study main objectives Next, of course, I will provide a brief overview of the data set used in our research and discuss the preprocessing steps that were undertaken. And the third part, that is the main part in uh, presentation, I'm going to explain how our analysis work and take example to demonstrate it. And lastly, I will summarize the key finding of our work, discuss the limitation of our study, and talk about our future direction for further development. So the first part is an introduction. And in recent years, there has been a growing interest in utilizing computational approaches to study social groups with Chinese humanities. This driven by the proliferation of biographical databases such as CBDB, uh, which provide extending information on historical figures. And with access to these databases, researchers can explore the lives, actions, and connection of characters, leading to a deeper understanding of their roles and influences. And by leveraging digital matter, we can uncover new insight into social dynamic, interaction, and relationship. So we believe that linking historical texts can provide valuable insight into the relational and temporal information surrounding historical figures. With this in mind, our main focus is to explore the potential of Ming Su Lu in enhancing digital research matter and gaining uh, valuable insight into Chinese history. And the Mingzulu is a comprehensive and official historical record that offers a wealth of information about the Ming Dynasty. It covers various aspects, including political, military, and social economic factors, providing valuable insight into the historical context. Importantly, it contains a rich information about individuals and their roles in shaping history. Uh, given the first and the second background, in this work, our aim is to explore the rich relation, okay. known and temporal information present in Ming Su Lu. And we utilize two computational approaches to investigate social groups, including the construction of a co network and the analysis of office mentioned in the records. By applying this computational method, we analyze the evolving social dynamic among officials in Ming Su Lu. And through our exploration, we aim to demonstrate the potential capability of this historical record in digital method. So the second part is data set. Uh, our primary data is Ming Su Lu and spanning over uh, 270 years and containing multiple versions. We utilize the version from the Institute of History, History and Philology Academy Seneca in Taiwan, which consists of over uh, 70 million characters. And Ming Su Lu is, uh, is distinguished by its diverse range of information containing imperial degrees, laws, patterns, and record that spanning various facets of politics, economy, culture, and ritual. And this wealth of data enable us to gain a comprehensive understanding of historical events from multiple perspectives. Our data is already utilized to NLP techniques, name entity recognition, and name entity linking, which were also developed by our research team before. 
NER involves identifying entities such as personal names, official position, and location with the tags. For this study, we focus on analyzing tags by extracting name entities related to personal names and official position. On the other hand, by utilizing an EL technique with CBDB and the database of names and biographics, our team had established connection between name entities in the text and biographical information. This enabled accurate identification of individual, overcoming a challenge posed by the anonymous um, and linking them to relevant biographical data. So the, the table represents the number of records during each uh, empire's reign. So, li so this is the number of paragraphs we use for analysis. And in each uh, record, we count each pair of individual only once, even if an individual is mentioned several times. So let's take a look at a distinct, uh, distinctive feature of Ming Lu in recording historical figure. The writing style of Ming Lu is characterized by its inclusion uh, of specific official position when mentioning historical figure. As we observe on the color, color block, it is evident that when re referring, referring to an official, uh, Ming Lu also provides uh, information about the position held by that individual at that time. So the third part is the method and result. Um, in our research, we have two hypotheses regarding the use of computational uh, method in analyzing historical records. The first hypothesis is that to what extent the co-occurrence of official names in the record can reflect the social relation between officials. And the second hypothesis is that are the frequently mentioned office in the records and the strongly associated official revealed in the co-occurrence network uh, study is in existing literature. Our investigation aims to enhance our understanding of social dynamic among officials and evaluate the reliability of computational method for historical analysis. In our work, we employ two computational methods to analyze the social dynamic among officials in Ming Si Lu. The first method involves constructing a co-occurrence network based on a uh, mention of official names in, in the records. By examining the pattern of co-occurrence, we can uncover the social relation among officials in the past. The second method focuses on the conducting a text analysis on a mention of official position in the record. This allows us to assess the significance of different official position with each record and their impact on the overall context. So the first analysis method we utilize is the co-occurrence network visualization. Uh, we extract co-occurrence ties from the official names mentioned in the record to, to capture association between individuals. And this enables us to create a network representation of social connection among officials. For our analysis, we employ Gaffey, a powerful network analysis software. We explore the structure of the co-occurrence network, visualize relationship between officials, and gain insight into uh, their social dynamic. This methodology allows us to uncover hidden patterns and understand the intricate association among political figures in, history, in historical records. So how do we visualize the co-occurrence network? Our first step was to select the specific period of text from Ming Si Lu. We then rank each node in our network based on its degree, which refer to the number of connections a node has. A node with more connection has a higher degree and is given higher rank. Thirdly, we assign weight to each edge in our network based on the total number of co-occurrence official mentions. This process helps us to highlight the strength of the connection between two nodes, emphasizing the frequency of their mention together. And to, to, to detect communities, we calculate the majority modularity with a, a resolution of one. 
Finally, we utilize the Yifang Hu layout algorithm to structure our network. This algorithm is particularly effective for visualized large network like ours. Now, if you could directly you, your attention to the right side of the slide, you will see an example of our network vi visualization created for the run of the uh, one Li. Different color, different color on the node represent the various community detected through majority calculation. If you look closely, uh, you can see nodes of different sizes. A uh, larger node indicate that the representative, uh, respective officials have a broader range of connection than than others. Similarly, you you can also observe that some edge are thicker than others. And, um, including stronger association between two officials. In summary, the visualization provides an intuitive way to understand the relationship and communities of officials documented in our selected text. The second analysis method we employ is the text analysis on mention of official position. Uh, through this ma method, we analyze the frequency and relevance of different official positions in Ming Lu using the TFDF method. By examining the occurrence and significance of this position, we gain valuable insight into their importance and how they change over time. And this is our TFDF formula. And TF is the frequency of terms with a record DF is a measure of how much influence an office provides with a year. We collect the official position entities mentioned in the record and apply the TFDF formula. We focus on strengthening uh, the relevance of terms that frequently appear in multiple records with the same years. And before diving into the analysis result, let's briefly review the historical background of Ming Dynasty. The Ming Dynasty had a well-established public, public system consisting of the central mechanism, um, mechanism, local governments, and military institutions. During the Ming Dynasty, an important development was the establishment of the cabinet system under the central mechanism, which included a prominent official position known as the Grand Secretary. This system was crucial in traditional Chinese for, um, feudal society and had a lasting impact extending to the Qing Dynasty and modern Chinese society. So in this work, we focus on the power dynamic of cabinet system in the Ming Dynasty. So back to the result analysis part, uh, we rank each official position in a record by TFDF and check the total number of times each position rank first by years. This allows us to observe the evolving significance of different official positions over time and measure their influence with specific year. We compare the, the, grand, the grand secretary with the six ministry and eunuch because they often inc encounter conflicts, overlapping responsibilities and negotiations. This comparison allows us to gain insights into their uh, interaction, balance, and dynamic. In the figure, we uh, use abbreviations such as GS for Grand Secretary, uh, M for Minister of the Sea Ministry, and E for the eunuch, and per, uh, present their rank by TFDF in a bar chart from uh, 1355 to uh, 1644, showing the percentage distributions. Up, um, and up around uh, uh, 1505, M, M is generally higher than GS, and the Grand Secretary system uh, created in the early 5th century. And research has shown during this formative period uh, of the Grand Secretary, although the Grand Secretaries could offer suggestions to the Emperor, em emperor their power did not override the authority of the six ministries. 
this align with uh, align with our finding. And beginning from the uh, Zhen Tong to Zhen, uh, Zhen De, e, e has two significant peaks, and research has show, also shown that Yunnan widely uh, sub substantial political power due to the young age or fortunateness of the emperor, uh, suppressing the growth in the authority of the grand secretary. Uh, this research is consistent with our finding. And starting starting from the 1419, a significant rise in GS corresponding the sudden increase in the number of grand secretaries. Following the steady growth from the 1521 to 1620, GS uh, reached its apex during the reign of Wan Li. Uh, we attribute this phenomena to the increasing significance of the grand secretaries who involved into a highly efficient co coordinating body that oversaw the operation of the sixth ministry. And this uh, inference is sup supported by existing historical research. So returning to the visualization of co-occurrence, we focus on the one Li Ren as is marked the pinnacle of ca cap cabinet system. In addition, um, to gain a better understanding of the connection among officials, we also examine the roles of both seniors and the secondary uh, grand secretaries with the grand secretary during the one Li Ren. The strong connection observed among officials in the co occurrence network during the reign of Wan Li, Wan Li shed lights on the working uh, relationship between the senior, senior and the secondary uh, grand secretaries. We can, kill, uh, kill, we can clearly see the box of the same, uh, same color represent the official who held the position of the senior and secondary grand second secretary during the corresponding uh, time period. This connection demonstrates the close collaboration and interaction between this key position with the grand secretary during that time. Additionally, we notice some connection between non-grand uh, secretary officials and these grand uh, secretary members as indicated by the triangle shape in the graph. In the future, this visualization approach uh, maybe can be utilized to uncover potential social relationship among historical figures. And the last part is conclusion and future direction. Uh, to sum up, the analysis of the co current network and TFDF ranking of official position have provided valuable insight into the development of the Grand Secretary and and the social structure with the Ming Dynasty. We have demonstrated the use of chronological historical record to piece together the evolution of social structure among historical figures. In conclusion, our research demonstrates the potential applicability of utilizing historical record in digital matter. However, it is important to acknowledge the limitation of our matter. The co-occurrence network analysis focuses on structural information at the expense of semantic details. To capture more fine grand relation between official, future work will incorporate some natural language processing techniques. Um, our research team is actively exploring the use of graph neural network to learn representation of main office officials incorporate the biographical data and related tests into GNN models. We aim to capture the essence of individual and learn their representation, and often re refer to as embedding in machine learning. Uh, this embedding provides us with a unique perspective on the relationship between different individuals, enable us to an analyze the uh, intricate intricative social dynamic with the Ming Dynasty. Through this ongoing research, we hope to continue to the growing field of digital humanity and pave the way for further exploration of historical data using advanced computational methods. So. 
And this concludes my presentation today. Thank you all for listening.